Dozens of residents crowded into Margate's old city hall to get a glimpse of what the city commission's next step would be as they continue to address the controversial dune project by the state and Army Corps of Engineers. We have just hired an attorney for a temporary restraining order or injunction to stop this project. Give us time to stop them from continuing to doing, doing the things that they're doing now that are wrong. The mayor says that the stagnant water they've been pumping out from this past weekend storms could potentially be contaminated which is a main concern for some local residents. I'm very concerned about anyone, even with a cut on their leg, they're walking through polluted water. If they think it's safe, I invite them to bring their children and their grandchildren to frolic in this water. Aside from health concerns, some other worries include accessibility issues to the sand and how the dune projects have been affecting the overall Margate community. The impact of the dune project has had a profoundly negative impact on all of those businesses and those families. While many have been expressing their different concerns, the owners of this beachfront property say they want to see the ocean, not a lake. We've been here since the 50s. We've never lost any beach. The beach is not eroded. The argument was that this was going to save the beach, which we didn't need to be saved. A representative from the Army Corps of Engineers said in an email that they're currently focusing on dewatering the basin areas and changing the elevation. They are also moving forward with constructing temporary elevated walkways connecting the ends of the streets to the dunes. Until the city makes a decision on what to do next, the mayor urges residents and visitors to stay patient. Hang in there. We're, we're doing everything everything we can at this point. You know, what they've done to our beaches is a travesty. It really is. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.